AI, uh, and recently, for example, GPT and Chat GPT uh, is a wonderful thing and and uh, can be very useful. Um, and it has nothing whatever to do with AGI. In fact, uh, as I've written, it's it's more or less the exact opposite of AGI um, because it involves um, honing the program to conform more and more precisely and in a shorter and shorter time to meeting a given criterion. Whereas an AGI, the difficulty, and, and uh, no one yet knows how to overcome this difficulty, the, the difficulty is to, is to write a program such that no possible for the, the, such that there is no possible idea um, for which one can say it will never enter that state. It will never have that idea. Now, people would immediately say, "Well, how do you know it won't get the idea to murder us?" Well, that's that's the thing. That's the that's the um, problem that has beset humankind since we have existed, and that's the problem that was solved with liberalism and the enlightenment. And now we know how to do it. We know how to um, uh, bring people up in a society that makes it extremely unlikely that they will become enemies of civilization. We haven't got it um, perfect yet, but uh, we, we've got it uh, working amazingly well from the perspective of history. From the perspective of history, the, the fact that, that um, we have so few wars, so little violence, as Steven Pinker likes to point out, is, is unprecedented. And uh, it's not inevitable. It's, it, it, uh, it, it's not that this had to happen. And it's not that it has to continue. It's just that we have the knowledge, both uh, theoretical and institutional, to... Uh, keep it going as it has been for, for hundreds of years, shall we say. And if we continue improving it piecemeal and so on, as Karl Popper would have us do, then there is no known reason why it should stop. But, but it's not inevitable. It will all depend on what we choose to do.